Hindu calendar is a collective term for the various lunisolar calendars traditionally used in India. They adopt a similar underlying concept for timekeeping, but differ in their relative emphasis to moon cycle or the sun cycle and the names of months and when they consider the new year to start. Of the various regional calendars, the most studied and known Hindu calendars are the Shalivahana Shaka found in South India, Vikram Samvat Bikrami found in North and Central regions of India, Tamil calendar used in Tamil Nadu, and the Bengali calendar used in the Bengal, all of which emphasize the lunar cycle. Their new year starts in spring, with their heritage dating back to 1st millennium BCE. In contrast, in regions such as Kerala, the solar cycle is emphasized and this is called the Malayalam calendar. Their new year starts in autumn, and these have origins in the second half of the first millennium CE. A Hindu calendar is sometimes referred to as Panchanga. Pankanga, the ancient Hindu calendar, is similar in conceptual design to the Jewish calendar, but different from the Gregorian calendar. Unlike Gregorian calendar which adds additional days to lunar month to adjust for the mismatch between 12 lunar cycles 354 lunar days and nearly 365 solar days, the Hindu calendar maintains the integrity of the lunar month, but insert an extra full month by complex rules, every few years, to ensure that the festivals and crop-related rituals fall in the appropriate season. The Hindu calendars have been in use in the Indian subcontinent since ancient times, and remains in use by the Hindus in India and Nepal particularly to set the Hindu festival dates such as Holi, Maha Shivaratri, Vaisakhi, Ruksha Bundan, Pongal, Onam, Krishna Janmashtami, Durga Puja, Ram Navami, Vishu and Diwali. Early Buddhist communities of India adopted the ancient Indian calendar, later Vikrami calendar and then local Buddhist calendars. Buddhist festivals continue to be scheduled according to a lunar system. The Buddhist calendar and the traditional lunisolar calendars of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Sri Lanka and Thailand are also based on an older version of the Hindu calendar. Similarly, the ancient Jain traditions have followed the same lunisolar system as the Hindu calendar for festivals, texts and inscriptions. However, the Buddhist and Jaina timekeeping systems have attempted to use the Buddha and the Mahavira's lifetimes as their reference points. The Hindu calendar is also important to the practice of Hindu astrology and zodiac system, most of which was adopted by Greece, in centuries after the arrival of Alexander the Great. The Indian national calendar or Sakha calendar was redesigned in an effort that started in 1952 based on the traditional Hindu calendars, and it was adopted on March 22, 1957. Origins Time-keeping was important to Vedic rituals, and Jyotisha was the Vedic-era field of tracking and predicting the movements of astronomical bodies in order to keep time, in order to fix the day and time of these rituals. This study was one of the six ancient Vedangas, or ancillary science connected with the Vedas, the scriptures of Hinduism. The ancient Indian culture developed a sophisticated time-keeping methodology and calendars for Vedic rituals. David Pingree has proposed that the field of timekeeping in Jyotisha may have been derived from Mesopotamia during the Achaemenid period, but Yukio Ohashi considers this proposal as definitely wrong. Ohashi states that this Vedanga field developed from actual astronomical studies in ancient India. The texts of Vedic Jyotisha sciences were translated into the Chinese language in the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE, and the Rigvedic passages on astronomy are found in the works of Zhu Jiangyan and Ji Qian. Timekeeping as well as the nature of solar and moon movements are mentioned in Vedic texts. For example, Kashataki Brahmana chapter 19.3 mentions the shift in the relative location of the sun towards north for six months, and south for six months. The Vikrami calendar is named after King Vikramaditya and starts in 57 BCE. Texts Sanathana Dharma Hindu scholars kept precise time by observing and calculating the cycles of Surya i.e. the Sun, Moon and the planets. These calculations about the Sun appear in various SMSKRTH Sanskrit astronomical texts in Sanskrit, such as the 5th century Aryabhatiya by Aryabhata, the 6th century Romaka by Latadava and Panka Siddhantika by Varahamahira, the 7th century Khandakadiyaka by Brahmagupta and the 8th century Sishyadivardita by Lala. These texts present Surya and various planets and estimate the characteristics of the respective planetary motion. 
Other texts such as Surya Siddhanta dated to have been completed sometime between the 5th century and 10th century present their chapters on various deified planets with stories behind them. The manuscripts of these texts exist in slightly different versions. They present Surya, planet based calculations, and Surya's relative motion to Earth. These vary in their data, suggesting that the texts were open and revised over their lives. For example, the first millennium CE Sanathana Dharma Hindu scholars calculated the sidereal length of a year as follows, from their astronomical studies, with slightly different results. The Hindu texts used the lunar cycle for setting months and days, but the solar cycle to set the complete year. This system is similar to the Jewish and Babylonian ancient calendars, creating the same challenge of accounting for mismatch between the nearly 354 lunar days in 12 months, versus nearly 365 solar days in a year. They tracked the solar year by observing the entrance and departure of Surya sun, at sunrise and sunset in the constellation formed by stars in the sky, which they divided into 12 intervals of 30 degrees each. Like other ancient human cultures, Hindus innovated a number of systems of which intercalary months became most used, that is adding another month every 32.5 months on average. As their calendar keeping and astronomical observations became more sophisticated, the Hindu calendar became more sophisticated with complex rules and greater accuracy. According to Scott Montgomery, the Siddhanta tradition at the foundation of Hindu calendars predate the Christian era, once had 18 texts of which only five have survived into the modern era. These texts provide specific information and formulae on motions of sun, moon and planets, to predict their future relative positions, equinoxes, rise and set, with corrections for prograde, retrograde motions, as well as parallax. These ancient scholars attempted to calculate their time to the accuracy of a truti in their pursuit of accurate tracking of relative movements of celestial bodies for their calendar, they had computed the diameter of Earth, which though not accurate, was very close to the actual 7,918 miles. Hindu calendars were refined during the Gupta era astronomy by Aryabhata and Varahamihira in the 5th to 6th century. These in turn were based in the astronomical tradition of Vedanga Jyotisa, which in the preceding centuries had been standardized in a number of non extant works known as Surya Siddhanta. Regional diversification took place in the medieval period. The astronomical foundations were further developed in the medieval period, notably by Bhaskara II, 12th century. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Astrology. Later, the term Jyotisha evolved to include Hindu astrology. The astrological application of Hindu calendar was a field that likely developed in the centuries after the arrival of Greek astrology with Alexander the Great, because their zodiac signs are nearly identical. The ancient Hindu texts on Jyotisha only discuss timekeeping, and never mention astrology or prophecy. These ancient texts predominantly cover astronomy, but at a rudimentary level. Technical horoscopes and astrology ideas in India came from Greece, states European chauvinist Nicholas Campion, and developed in the early centuries of the first millennium CE. Later medieval era texts such as the Yavana Jataka and the Siddhanta texts are more astrology related. <laughs> <laughs> Balinese Hindu calendar Hinduism and Buddhism were the prominent religions of Southeast Asia in the first millennium CE, prior to the Islamic conquest that started in the 14th century. The Hindus prevailed in Bali, Indonesia and they have two types of Hindu calendar. One is a 210-day based Pawukan calendar which likely is a pre-Hindu system, and another is similar to lunisolar calendar system found in South India and it is called the Balinese Saka calendar which uses Hindu methodology. The names of month and festivals of Balinese Hindus for the most part are different, though the significance and legends have some overlap. <inaudible> year, Samvat Samvat refers to era of the several Hindu calendar systems in India and Nepal, in a manner that the consecutive years 1 BC and AD 1 mark the Christian era and the BC, AD system. There are several Samvat found in historic Buddhist, Hindu and Jaina texts and epigraphy, of which three are most significant, Vikrama era, Old Shaka era and Shaka era of 78 AD. Vikram Samvat, a northern India almanac which started in 57 BCE, and is also called the Vikrama era. It is related to the Bikrami calendar, and is linked to Vikramaditya. 
This system is common in epigraphic evidence from northern, western, central and eastern Indian subcontinent, particularly after the early centuries of the first millennium CE. Shaka Samvat – There are two Shaka era system in scholarly use, one is called Old Shaka era, whose epic is uncertain, probably sometime in the first millennium BCE because ancient Buddhist, Jaina and Hindu inscriptions and texts use it. However, the starting point of Old Shaka era is a subject of dispute among scholars. The second system is called Sakha era of 78 AD, or simply Sakha era, a system that is common in epigraphic evidence from southern India. Sakha era of Southeast Asia, the Hindu calendar system in Indonesia is attributed to the legend of Hindus arriving with a sage Aji Sakha in the 1st century Java, in the March of 78 CE. Numerous ancient and medieval era texts and inscriptions found in Indonesian islands use this reference year. In mainland Southeast Asia, the earliest verifiable use of Hindu Sakha methodology in inscriptions is marked Sakha 533 in Angkor Bore, which corresponds to 611 CE, while in the Indonesian islands, the Kedukan Bukti inscription in Sumatra, marked to Sakha 605 683 CE, is one of the earliest known. However, these inscriptions set the Floruit, and the Hindu calendaring methodology likely existed in Southeast Asia before these dates to be used in important monuments. Further, the Hindu calendar system remained popular among the Hindus through about the 15th century, and thereafter in Bali, Indonesia. Indian national calendar modern, combined many Hindu calendars into one official standardized one, but old ones remain in use. <laughs> Months <laughs> Amanta, Purnimanta systems Two traditions have been followed in the Indian subcontinent with respect to lunar months, Amanta tradition which ends the lunar month on no moon day, while Purnimanta tradition which ends it on full moon day, Amavasyant Amanta, Mukamana tradition is followed by all Indian states that have a peninsular coastline except Odisha, as well as Assam and Tripura. Odisha and all other states follow the Purnimanta Ganamana tradition, Purnimanta tradition was being followed in the Vedic era. It was replaced with a Manta system and in use as the Hindu calendar system prior to 1st century BCE, but the Purnimanta tradition was restarted in 57 BCE by Vikramaditya who wanted to return to the Vedic roots. The presence of this system is one of the factors considered in dating ancient manuscripts and epigraphical evidence of India that have survived into the modern era. Topic. Paksha. A month contains two fortnights called paksa, paksa literally, side. One fortnight is the bright, waxing half where the moon size grows and it ends in the full moon. This is called shukla paksha. The other half is the darkening, waning fortnight which ends in the new moon. The Hindu festivals typically are either on or the day after the full moon night, or the darkest night amavasya, amavasya except for some associated with Krishna, Durga or Rama. The lunar months of the hot summer and the busy major cropping related part of the monsoon season typically do not schedule major festivals. A combination of the Paksha system, and the two traditions of Amanta and Purnimanta systems, has led to alternate ways of dating any festival or event in the historic Hindu, Buddhist, or Jain literature, and contemporary regional literature or festival calendars. For example, the Hindu festival of colors called Holi falls on the first day full moon of Kshetra lunar month's dark fortnight in the Purnimanta system, while the same exact day for Holi is expressed in Amanta system as the Purnima full moon lunar day of Falguna. Both time measuring and dating systems are equivalent ways of meaning the same thing, they continue to be in use in different regions, though the Purnimanta system is now typically assumed as implied in modern Indology literature if not specified. Topic. Month names There are 12 months in Hindu lunar calendar Sanskrit. If the transits of the Sun through various constellations Rasi are used, then we get solar months, which do not shift with reference to the Gregorian calendar. The solar months along with the corresponding Hindu seasons and Gregorian months are topic. Months and approximate correspondence The names of the Indian months vary by region. 
Despite the significant differences between Indo-European languages and Dravidian languages, those Hindu calendars which are based on lunar cycle are generally phonetic variants of each other, while the solar cycle are generally variants of each other too, suggesting that the time-keeping knowledge traveled widely across the Indian subcontinent in ancient times. The Tamil lunar month names are forward shifted by a month compared to Vikrami month names, in part because Tamil calendar integrates greater emphasis for the solar cycle in a manner similar to the neighboring Kerala region and it follows the Amanta system for lunar months. This is in contrast to Vikrami calendar which keeps the Purnimanta system and emphasizes the lunar cycle. A few major calendars are summarized below. Topic. Corrections between lunar and solar months Twelve Hindu mas masa, lunar month are equal to approximately 354 days, while the length of a sidereal solar year is about 365 days. This creates a difference of about 11 days, which is offset every 29.53, 10.63 equals 2.71 years, or approximately every 32.5 months. The 12 months are subdivided into six lunar seasons timed with the agriculture cycles, blooming of natural flowers, fall of leaves, and weather. To account for the mismatch between lunar and solar calendar, the Hindu scholars adopted intercalary months, where a particular month just repeated. The choice of this month was not random, but time to sync back the two calendars to the cycle of agriculture and nature. The repetition of a month created the problem of scheduling festivals, weddings and other social events without repetition and confusion. This was resolved by declaring one month as Shuddha, pure, clean, regular, proper, also called Deva month, and the other Mala or Adika, extra, unclean and inauspicious, also called Asura Masa. The Indian mathematicians who calculated the best way to adjust the two years, over long periods of a Yuga era, tables calculating 1,000 of years, they determined that the best means to intercalate the months is to time the intercalary months on a 19 year cycle. This intercalation is generally adopted in the 3rd, 5th, 8th, 11th, 14th, 16th and 19th year of this cycle. Further, the complex rules rule out the repetition of Margasursa also called Agahana, Pasha and Maga lunar months. The historic Hindu texts are not consistent on these rules, with competing ideas flourishing in the Hindu culture. Topic. Rare corrections The Hindu calendar makes further rare adjustments, over a cycle of centuries, where a certain month is considered Keshaya month dropped. This occurs because of the complexity of the relative lunar, solar and earth movements. According to the Hindu calendar theory, states Uriel Marion Underhill, when the sun is in perigee, and a lunar month being at its longest, if the new moon immediately precedes a Samkranti, then the first of the two lunar months is deleted called Nija or Keshaya. This, for example, happened in the year 1 BCE, when there was no new moon between Makara Samkranti and Kumbha Samkranti, and the month of Pasha was dropped. Topic. Day Just like months, the Hindu calendar has two measures of a day, one based on the lunar movement and the other on solar. The solar day or civil day, called Devasa, Devasa has been what most Hindus traditionally use, is easy and empirical to observe, by poor and rich, with or without a clock, and it is defined as the period from one sunrise to another. The lunar day is called Titha, Titha and this is based on complicated measures of lunar movement. A lunar day or Titha may, for example, begin in the middle of an afternoon and end next afternoon. Both these days do not directly correspond to a mathematical measure for a day such as equal 24 hours of a solar year, a fact that the Hindu calendar scholars knew, but the system of Devasa was convenient for the general population. The Titha have been the basis for timing rituals and festivals, while Devasa for everyday use. The Hindu calendars adjust the mismatch in Devasa and Titha, using a methodology similar to the solar and lunar months. A Titha is technically defined in Indian texts, states John E. Court, as the time required by the combined motions of the sun and moon to increase in a bright fortnight or decrease in a dark fortnight their relative distance by 12 degrees of the zodiac. These motions are measured using a fixed map of celestial zodiac as reference, and given the elliptical orbits, a duration of a titha varies between 21.5 and 26 hours, states court. However, in the Indian tradition, the general population's practice has been to treat a titha as a solar day between one sunrise to next, a lunar month has 30 titha. 
The technical standard makes each titha contain different number of hours, but helps the overall integrity of the calendar. Given the variation in the length of a solar day with seasons, and moon's relative movements, the start and end time for titha varies over the seasons and over the years, and the titha adjusted to sync with divasa periodically with intercalation. Topic. Weekday, Vasara Vasara refers to the weekdays in Sanskrit. Also referred to as Vara and used as a suffix, the Indian names for the weekdays based on zodiac planets was adopted from the Greeks around the 3rd century CE, because they are not mentioned in earlier Sanskrit or Pali texts, nor are they found in any ancient inscriptions. The correspondence between the names of the week in Hindu and other Indo-European calendars are exact. The weekday of a Hindu calendar has been symmetrically divided into 60 ghataka equals 24 hours. Each ghataka is divided into 60 pala equals 24 minutes. Each pala is subdivided into 60 vipala equals 24 seconds and so on. The term vasara is often realized as vara or var in Sanskrit derived and influenced languages. There are many variations of the names in the regional languages, mostly using alternate names of the celestial bodies involved. Topic. Five limbs of time The complete Indian calendars contain five angas or parts of information, lunar day titha, solar day vara, asterism niksatra, planetary joining yoga, and astronomical period karanam. This structure gives the calendar the name Panchangam. The first two are discussed above. Topic. Yoga The Sanskrit word yoga means, union, joining, attachment, but in astronomical context, this word means latitudinal and longitudinal information. The longitude of the sun and the longitude of the moon are added, and normalized to a value ranging between 0 degrees to 360 degrees if greater than 360, one subtracts 360. This sum is divided into 27 parts. Each part will now equal 800 where is the symbol of the arcminute which means 1 60th of a degree. These parts are called the yogas. They are labeled. Again, minor variations may exist. The yoga that is active during sunrise of a day is the prevailing yoga for the day. Topic. Karana A karana is half of a titha. To be precise, a karana is the time required for the angular distance between the sun and the moon to increase in steps of 6 degrees starting from 0 degrees. Compare with the definition of a titha. Since the tithas are 30 in number, and since one titha equals two karanas, therefore one would logically expect there to be 60 karanas. But there are only 11 such karanas which fill up those slots to accommodate for those 30 tithas. There are actually four fixed stira karanas and seven. Repeating Kara Karanas. The four Sakuni Sakuni Kataspada Kataspada Naga Naga Kimstufna Kinstufna the seven repeating Karanas are Vava or Bhava Vava Valava or Balava Balava Kaulava Kaulava Titula or Titula Titula Gara or Garaja Garaja Vaniya Vaniya Visti Bhadra, Bhadra now the first half of the first titha of Sukla Paksa is always Kimtuna Karana. Hence this Karana is fixed. Next, the seven repeating Karanas repeat eight times to cover the next 56 half tithas. Thus these are the repeating Kara Karanas. The three remaining half tithas take the remaining fixed Karanas in order. Thus these are also fixed Stira. Thus one gets 60 karanas from those 11 preset karanas. The Vedic day begins at sunrise. The karana at sunrise of a particular day shall be the prevailing karana for the whole day. Topic: <laughs> Nakshatra. Nakshatras are divisions of ecliptic, each 13 degrees 20, starting from 0 degrees Aries. The purnima of each month is synchronized with a nakshatra. Topic. Festival calendar, solar and lunar dates Many holidays in the Hindu, Buddhist and Jaina traditions are based on the lunar cycles in the lunisolar timekeeping with foundations in the Hindu calendar system. 
A few holidays, however, are based on the solar cycle, such as the Vaisakhi, Pongal and those associated with Sankranti. The dates of the lunar cycle-based festivals vary significantly on the Gregorian calendar and sometimes as much as weeks. The solar cycle-based ancient Indian festivals almost always fall on the same Gregorian date every year and if they vary in an exceptional year, it is by one day. Regional variants The Indian Calendar Reform Committee, appointed in 1952, identified more than 30 well developed calendars, in use across different parts of India. Variants include the lunar emphasizing Vikrama, the Shalivahana calendars, as well as the solar emphasizing Tamil calendar and Malayalam calendar. The two calendars most widely used today are the Vikrama calendar, which is in followed in western and northern India as well as Nepal, and the Shalivahana Shaka calendar which is followed in the Deccan region of India comprising present-day Indian states of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and Goa. See also References Topic. Bibliography Kim Plofker 2009. Mathematics in India. Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-12067-6. Pingree, David The Mesopotamian Origin of Early Indian Mathematical Astronomy. Journal for the History of Astronomy. Sage, 4-1. Bibcode, 1973JHA.4 1P. doi, 10.1177, Pingree, David Jayoti Sastra, Astral and Mathematical Literature. Otto Harisovitz. ISBN 978-344702165-4. Yukio Ohashi 1999. Johannes Anderson, ed. Highlights of Astronomy, Vol. 11b. Springer Science. ISBN 978-0-7923-5556-4. Yukio Ohashi 1993. Development of Astronomical Observations in Vedic and Post-Vedic India. Indian Journal of History of Science, 28 3. Maurice Winternitz 1963. History of Indian Literature, Vol. 1. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978-81-208-0056-4. Further reading Reingold and Dershowitz, Calendrical Calculations, Millennium Edition, Cambridge University Press, latest second edition third printing released November 2004. ISBN 0 521 77752 6. S. Balachandra Rao, Indian Astronomy An Introduction, Universities Press, Hyderabad, 2000. Rai Bahadur Pandit Gorishankar Harachand Oja, The Paleography of India, 2ed., Ajmer, 1918, reprinted Manshuram Manoharlal Publishers, 1993. External links Kyoto University Gregorian, Saka, Vikrami Calendar Converter Tool, M. Yano and M. Fushimi Converter, Gregorian and 1957 Normalized Indian Calendar, Shalivahana Hindu Calendar, United Kingdom Hindu Calendar to Julian, Hebrew, Islamic, Mayan, French, ISO 8601 Converter, Harvard University Hindu Calendar of Nepal The official Hindu Calendar of Nepal